For over 75 years, the Harwich Junior Theatre, now called Cape Cod Theatre Company, has brought the joy of theatre to families across Cape Cod. With a mission to educate, empower, and inspire children and adults of all ages to explore their creativity, they've been a hub for artists of all backgrounds. Cape Cod Theatre Company, Harwich Junior Theatre, really invites young people into the world of theater. And I really believe that they have to be invited in, that you have to be a welcoming, nurturing environment for people to really discover, you know, their own self-expression and love of the performing arts. For the last 25 years, Nina Schussler has led Cape Cod Theater Company's mission under her leadership, but is now retiring making her the longest running producing artistic director of any theater on Cape Cod. But what drew Nina into this position all those years ago? In 1996, the job was advertised and you know I had an affiliation with the theater, with Harwich Junior Theater and Harwich Winter Theater at the time. And um, you know, I, I really wanted to have a full-time job in my field. Um, it was important to me, um, and and so I applied for it. And you know, I felt a real devotion to this theater, and and I loved it. I loved the mission, and and so I applied, and and I got it. Um, and Betty Bope, who was the founder of our theater, she'd been the dean of drama education at Wheelock Family Theater in Boston. Um, she founded the theater in 1951, and you know she was just a visionary. And um, you know, so I felt a real commitment to her, to our, to her mentorship of me and our friendship. And um, so I decided to take it on. But at that time, I was a director, a teacher, and an actor. I had no sense of <laughs> what it was to be, you know, in arts management. So there was a real learning curve for me. The beauty of live theater and getting to work with multiple generations is what kept Nina devoted to the mission of Cape Cod Theater Company. I really love the whole creative drama philosophy of this theater as a way of, of bringing young people along. and. Um, and so I thought, you know, I, I felt committed to it. I, I saw the joy, I saw transformation, um, and I saw, you know, just so much blossoming, you know, of, the, of everyone, not just the kids who grew up here, but the adults. Um, you know, theater is supposed to hold a mirror up to nature. And I think by when you work with all generations together, that um, it really does that in a much more profound and joyous way. Some of her fondest memories over the years include getting to produce new plays. I love doing new plays. I love bringing, which is a challenge for today's audiences really, because people want to see what they've heard about or what's familiar or what they might know the story of. But I really, love taking, um, you know, a playwright's, you know, play from the page and, and putting it on the stage. To me, you know, that's a challenge and it's, it's a real way of um, vision, envisioning, you know, how the words and how the, you know, how the characters connect and how they move. and. You know, so I love doing that, and I've directed a lot of new plays over the years. Nina is thankful to have worked with a supportive staff over the years and hopes the theater continues to thrive. I just hope it continues. I hope it blossoms. I hope they bring in a lot of new work and new directors and playwrights, and I just hope that the theater can continue, and I think it will. I have a lot of faith in it. It almost um, has a life of its own, and um, with the right people, the great people we have around it, I think that I have every faith that it will, you know, it will continue and go beyond expectations. 
On March 31st, Nina will hang up her hat as artistic producing director. She hopes to become a freelancer, spend more time with her family, and will continue to direct shows at Cape Cod Theatre Company. In Harwich, for Cape Media News, I'm Emily Tellick.